Let's talk about functional groups. I should have talked about it on the last video, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? So let's talk about functional groups now. So um, there's different organic molecules. Or organic molecules have different what we call functional groups, OK? And that's the area where reactivity is associated with. And usually, it has to do with, um, I don't know, where the heteroatoms are, OK? So if we look here. This thing's called ethanol, all, for a reason, okay? Why? Because all alcohols end in this OL, okay? Ethanol, like we call this alcohol, like just in common parlance, right? We say, um, I'm going to go drink some alcohol or something like that, right? So uh, that alcohol that we're talking about is ethanol, which is just one of a family of alcohols. There's methanol, propanol, butanol you know, cyclohexanol, all of these things are alcohols. They end in OL. Uh, they have this group here, this OH group, okay, that's bonded to a carbon, okay? In fact, the general structure of that is ROH, okay? So that's an alcohol. R is just some sort of carbon is over there, okay? So it's just any. So this, anything you see that looks like this, let's call it alcohol, okay? Let's call it an alcohol. Anything that looks like this, that's got an oxygen in the middle of two carbons like that, two carbons with hydrogens around them, so something that has the general structure of this, we call an ether. So there's this stuff that we were talking about last, last time. I guess that would be Monday, right? So um, ether, right? So the ether that we were talking about when it was like the first anesthetic, right? Um, that's not dimethyl ether. It's actually this other molecule, diethyl ether. <coughs> that looks like this, OK? So why is this? Also an ether, because it's got this oxygen surrounded by these two carbons, okay? So you're going to be, that's one thing you're going to have to memorize about organic chemistry is these different functional groups. And we'll go over a bunch of molecules and just say, point out the functional groups, what are they called in today, okay? Are there any questions on those two functional groups? Does everybody think they, they could pick out an alcohol and an ether if they saw them? Okay, cool.